Okay, so welcome everybody. This is your Ohm's Law Lab. Uh, this is what you should see on your document when you first open it. And I'm going to walk you through your document and then um, kind of give some instructions on how to complete the lab. So I want to stress that everyone needs to be creating their own document, that there should be no sharing of any documents whatsoever. So if you copy and paste, that's also a form of sharing. Um, and so at that point, if you're copying and pasting your lab, for somebody else, then you're purposely sharing, right? So make sure that you don't do that. Um, and here you have some links where you're going to need to do some reading for it and then take some notes underneath the link. And um, here's resistance, just a small quick thing on resistance. And um, we're gonna open the simulator, all right? So we're gonna click on the link and we're going to just play with the simulator um, with the simulator for a little bit. So here's the portion of what your screen would look like. Um, let's just quickly go over what each of the things do. Okay. So this is your wire. And like um, we had talked about in the circuits lab one, your wires are usually conductive. Okay. And these are called your resistors. Remember, resistors kind of um, not prevent charge flow, but act as a hindrance. So they're um, not allowing the charges to flow freely, but kind of act as a, like a res resist some of those charge. Um, I think the best way is that what, how we define it in class, which is it's a hindrance for charge flow. All right, this is your light bulb. <coughs> and um, it's just wires and your light bulb and then another wire, okay? And, <coughs> excuse me, this is your ammeter. Your, if you remember from class, ammeter measures current. So it will tell us how much current there is. And um, if you click on this arrow, it will pull up as a full screen. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Here's what it looks like when we press the full screen. If you want to leave this, all you have to do is um, press escape and it will take you back to where um, we were earlier. All right, so we're going to leave the battery where it is and then we're going to take a wire and, oops, I don't know how we created that many wires. Uh, let's see if we can erase some of these wires. All right, so let's erase that. All right, so we're going to put another wire here. And we're going to put a resistor. So you have to click on the resistor. And we're going to put it right there. And we're going to close our circuit with the wire. Um, and so then it'll start playing. So I'm going to just remove one of the wires. And we're going to check to see if we did this picture right. Okay, so in your lab, um, where it says 9, at the positive terminal of the battery, right now there is, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why it did that. Okay, there is, um, a, there should be a 1 there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on um, this second uh, tab right here. And so we are going to get battery. And we are going to sit, make it say 1. So we're going to decrease the volts. And as we're decreasing the volts here, you should see um, it change also in the positive terminal. We're going to decrease it all the way so that it says 1. Okay. And notice what happened when we were at 9. So let's see what it looked like at 9. And now we're going to go back to 1. So think about what is happening there. I actually forgot to include an ammeter, so to tell us how much current is flowing throughout the circuit. So we're going to click on the ammeter down here, and we're going to click in this open space, and there's our ammeter. And our ammeter um, helps complete the circuit, which is why the charges show back up. All right, and so, um, we have a number there in our ammeter. We have some numbers in these white circles. And we have, oh, what are these things? It looks like there are positive charges moving through. 
the wires. Um, and you all learned in class that positive charges, which are protons, do not move. It is actually the electrons that are moving. It's a little bit confusing, but that's kind of the uh, conventional way scientists have agreed to talk about electricity and circuits. Okay, so looking at what we have here, um, you were able to play with interactive for a little bit. Okay, you're going to mark the value of the resistance um, in this blank right here. Okay, so remember that the resistance value is going to go here. I'll, I will show you where to find it in the simulator. And you're going to mark the value of the voltage here. Make sure that you're paying attention to which part you're working on and that you keep those two parts separate because you're going to be writing two different CERs for it. So we're going to go back to the simulation so that we can find out where we can find information on the resistance and the voltage. And we're back. So this, um, our ammeter will tell us, oh, I'm sorry. Our ammeter will tell us what the current is. So that was our ammeter. A-M-M-E-T-E-R, ammeter. And to find out the amount of voltage, um, we were, so we clicked on the second tab and we looked at the ammeter, which gives us a number. We look at the battery, which will also give us a number, okay? But if we want to find out what the resistance is, um, we are going to put a resistor in. Or since we already have a resistor in, um, we're going to click on the second tab again and then put our uh, magnifying glass over the resistor and it tells us that that resistor is 10 ohms. The battery is 1 volt and then the current is whatever it says there which is 0 0.1 ammeter.